Hello everybody, I'm Jeff, I'm a wizard, I do pick your cards, reading. Uh, today's subject is how to manifest better. Um, gonna try to give you a short, good manifesting tips. I'm not gonna, trying to keep this short and not going into the whole how to manifest. There are enough videos, there are enough books out there to help you with this. So these are really more um, what would help you right now. What's a little uh, trick or how, how to get out of a maybe bad manifesting um, um, mojo or whatever okay I've already pre-shuffled the the card so I already have four piles that makes it easier um, I uh, will use the first card to choose so the group number one is the the death card in reverse try to set my lightning here better does that work what just how does this work okay death card in reverse just look at the pretty lights you like the light? It's group one. Group two is the four of swords. Mm -hmm. Also a nice light. More red. Then we have group three, the empress. Um, the normal way up as well. And then group four is the five of swords reversed. I know it's annoying that they're reversed to choose the groups, but I asked and they said yes, they have to stay reversed. Okay, I'm sorry. So, group one, death reverse, group two, four of swords, group three, the empress, and group four, five of swords, upside down. Upside down. Okay, then um, let's uh, just get into it. I'm gonna stabilize the table because this is oh, way better. Way better. Then uh, we'll start with group number one. Okay, let's look at your cards. So, we have death. Reverse, that's our start. I'm just gonna turn it around for me. Okay, we got the Fool. Uh, it's hard to tell you with the sun. Okay, the Fool, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Okay, so what do I need to tell you to manifest here? Um, Group one, very simple. What, what I see here is that you are kind of resisting change. You're kind of resisting something ending. Um, the problem is not the, the way you manifest or um, you getting what you want. The problem is that you're having difficulty accepting that something is over. And, and I can't tell you what it is. Um, I really can't. I think career-wise or something, yeah, like like it's like the old way of doing something or the way you you were like let's say you had a job and um, it's like it's more to death to to let's say the nine to five way of doing it or um, the original plan you had. Okay, I think you're being asked to let that go. So really focus on look at your life and and really take note of even the small things like where do i wait let me put the music down where am i um getting no results where where am i really only getting stuck or do i have no response back um or or see when you're like pushing against something that really is not moving or that it's over and like let's say you just I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit in a situation like you just lost a, a job that you also really didn't like doing anymore. Um, and I'm still kind of looking for the same kind of jobs, but it really feels bad, right? So I'm kind of um, trying to like uh, take that information and really also like then do something with it, okay? So I don't like that kind of job um, that didn't go well. Um, there's no point in trying that again or um, thinking, oh, it was just a setting or maybe if I try harder. No, the point is, um, okay, that's not the right direction. Um, what is? And, and the cards are telling me here that actually that's the only problem. The moment you just like sort of can say like, okay, I think that's over and I don't want to do that anymore and let go of that you for a moment don't know what to do don't know where to go that you don't see the other direction um, 
if you just get on board with that, if you say like, okay, um, this is over, um, not gonna fight that, I don't know where I'm going right now, um, just be the fool, just be okay, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then the, the, the most important trick or the most important tip I can give you is be generous with your time, with your money. Like it's not because maybe you lost a job or you're in a, in a bit of an uncertain period right now that you're gonna have to play it safe or that you're gonna have to really watch your money. No, the opposite, because that's going to um, put you in a bad flow. The more you really have to go like, okay, like, um, See, this thing ending as you getting back on the right path and you being on the right path is just going to feel really good. Um, so you have nothing to worry about, really. Like, uh, the, the point is that you don't really know where you're going, I think. Um, however, the, the trick is to be really generous with your time and money. And, um, and that means also, like, let's say you're uncertain where you are right now so you're holding back on dating let's say this card is telling me no um put your energy out there try things um don't be stingy with it don't be hoarding your energy or your time um share that okay um and also something that i just like like picked up um like let's is it good to give to a beggar or not um I usually do it um, and I usually do it with the idea that I started doing it after a while where I after a period where I got really was really struggling I just sort of always felt like when I'm really down and out I wish somebody would be kind to me or somebody would that there were people who would um, not judge me and not ask me questions and just be kind and and help me out right um, and even if I even if the beggar uses the money for drugs or whatever none of my business I want him to have a nice day I just want to be a kind soul on his path right um, but it's important what I learned is that when you when you're giving to to somebody who is has less money or like a homeless person or or helping a friend out it's very important that you that if you're giving to get back like if you're giving if you would give to that beggar because you think like, oh, I'm supposed to be generous and that's going to give me things back, then you're not doing it in the right alignment. But that's not going to work. You really need to be... Um, ask yourself, like, what am I getting out of giving to this person? Okay? Um, because there's usually a selfish reason behind it. Uh, nothing is purely that altruistic. But really be, be open to have that discussion with yourself. Because if you're giving to other people to get back, then you're probably going to... Um, not get the nice results. That's just a little something on the side. Now we have this three of wands card here, uh, which is a bit annoying because it tells me to uh, plan, right? But I just told you that we don't know where we're going and that's fine, all right? Or that you don't have to be so sure about this. But the three of wands is more inviting you to um, start thinking about different scenarios again. Start dreaming again, start thinking. Um, just start Thinking of beautiful future scenarios, like, hmm, what would I like? Would that, that would be nice, and I would like to maybe do that travel, or I maybe would like to live somewhere there. Just start planning your future in a general sense. Like, I don't know right now what the step is, but I do know for sure that later on I would like this and this. And start decorating your future house, something like that, you know? Or start just thinking of what are things that I would like in my new job or in my new relationship. In general very general okay the point is that you start slowly figuring out what do I like what 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 don't I like what what um, with the information I have now what would make me happy what wouldn't make me happy very general like that okay um, the, the only the only trick that you have to do is sort of figure out where you are resisting this death this change accepting that accepting like okay that's over I'm not gonna fight that anymore um, just gonna let it go um, because that's not the right direction because like clearly it's not working out let that go I don't know where I'm going but I'm trust I trust that this that I'm on the right path because you just got that from me you're on the right path you don't have to be afraid so you don't have to be saving your energy or your money or your time you don't have to do that and you just have to think of nice little scenarios that you would like in the future to happen 
and um, be on your merry way, my friends. That's it. And I think the something to think about is like just when you when you encounter the scenarios, when you're giving, when you're being generous uh, in this, especially in these small ways. They're like when you are um, when you think, oh, I'm uh, I'm I'm helping somebody out here or like a beggar or somebody at the supermarket outside, you know, and you want to give to that person or you give to that person, whatever. Then afterwards, do the question like, okay, now, if I'm honest, like, what, is, what, are my, what are my motives here? Because I think, not to annoy you, not to say like, you need to think about this because you are, uh, you think you're being helping. No, 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 no. It's more like, look into that because there's some information there for you. Like, if you would just ask yourself these questions like, why am I... Why do I do these things? Why do I think it's good? Or why why don't I give to beggars? Why do I am resistant to that? Just ask these questions because there's important information for you there that's going to give you insight. Yes, yes. Group one. Thank you. That was it. Good job. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Group one. You can go now. Um, then I take a little break and then we start with group two. I'll put the music louder. I have the Sophie Tucker set playlist on. I like them. Why is this not working? Pretty embarrassing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, All right, hello, group two. Welcome to your reading um, in your class, How to Manifest Better. You chose the Four of Swords. Resting, um, faking your death. I just said that. I don't know, I think it's important. Um, not, I mean, I mean, sort of the, the idea of you like trying to be as still as possible, not to cause any can't is that cause any problems, you know? You're just trying to be like, if I don't move, um, I won't shake anything up. I won't rock the boat. I feel like that's what you're doing a bit. Then, page of swords, upside down. So, communication, no communication. Okay, so you're in a rest period and you're not hearing any news. You're not hearing back from a job or not from, it's just a quiet period. Nothing is coming in. Queen, no, queen, queen? Looks such a, like a guy, this person with the 80s haircut. Um, Queen of Wands. Look at that cat here. So, confidence, intuition. Interesting, I'm really seeing the King of Wands, but it's the Queen of Wands. How is this the Queen of Wands? Look at the staff that, that he, she is holding. Wait, I'm trying to... And, uh, okay, go. Oh. Uh, normally there's a salamander, right? Oh no, there's the king of wands. See, I'm really confusing too. We'll get into that. And I have the judgment card. Twenty. Okay, yeah. I just okay. This is very easy because I um, I was just reading the cards for somebody, and also the four of wands was an, uh, an issue there. And this is basically a bit of the same. Um, the story there was, and I think that this is happening here or just happened and this is going to help you put these things, things into perspective. I think um, you were making, you had a plan or you were kind of moving forward but for some reason things aren't working out. It's very frustrating or like uh, like the person that I was talking to, he, he finally was sort of ready to make a move and he found a house that he really liked and he wanted to buy it, like ready to make this step and then the last minute it, um, it didn't go through. Like. Um, uh, the house was given to somebody else, right? But well, that was very frustrating for him and he actually felt very um, sad over that. But what did, what, what did that do? And there's the same thing that is happening here. That's why this queen and this king of wands mix up is happening and this cat is here. And it's kind of like the thing that, the frustrating thing that's, that was on your path or that's, that's keeping you stuck at the moment or sort of the, the lack of, let's say you're trying for a job, you kind of finally are figuring out like, I think that's what I want, I'm gonna, 
apply for that job and then it doesn't happen and then you feel kind of punished for trying right or you feel like okay so maybe that's not right so it's like you're grumpy now however because it didn't fell through you really know what you want now it's like oh you really wish that thing would have happened you really are are uh, defeated about it that it didn't happen but because of this now your instinct is sharp again this cat is very sure and you are very sure it's like yeah i really wanted that i really want that and i'm really sad that i didn't get it but now i know for sure yeah and that's the judgment card that's like you because of this annoying period or because of these this backup or or these like the first like the first tips you were trying it it's it um it didn't fall through or you kind of get stuck because of that you know very well what you want now okay it's like you're fully aligned now and that just means that your energy is now clear and uh, focused so nothing went wrong everything is going perfectly as as planned this annoying period is purely happening for you to get to get very sure about what you want and to get some direction okay um it's like uh, you know um you're not sure if you uh if if you want something and then i uh, i say uh okay then i don't give it to you and either you you're like okay fine i really don't care or you're like god damn it i'm really regretting that well then you now you really know that you want it okay and it's a trick because i'm gonna bring the better thing out now um and that it's going to be what you wanted and even more and even then some okay so the, the frustrating thing now the, the, the only thing now that you have to, to do is just realize that um you're getting time to just slowly figure out what you want and the the, the whole point is that you make a move that you try something and that um the result helps you figure it out you know so it's kind of like try some things um open some doors and your reaction is going to help you figure it out and that's going to um push you in the right direction i hope i explained that really well i'm really it's really so like look how grumpy the he she looks but so sure and that cat is also like uh just clear you know it's like uh, you're in it, it, yeah, you were doubtful before and the doubts are gone. And uh, that's really good. Now you know, now you can cast your judgment and now you can manifest, okay? So that's why before your manifesting was a bit like mm -mm, blocked or um, you were like, well, this is what I wanted, so why am I not getting it? So what is, the, what, you know, what am I doing wrong? You're doing nothing wrong. It's more like you're saying like, yeah, okay, I'm, sh I'm really sure now. Okay, so bring it out. Uh, before that, you were like, yeah, maybe, maybe not, maybe. So um, maybe also own up to that, and maybe um, just realize that that the, the the certainty that you have now is is a really nice feeling to have, and this is all happening perfectly as planned. So nothing went wrong. Um, you're not doing anything wrong. You um, your plan is good to go. Um, you're just getting uh, fired up. Yeah? Okay. Thank you, Kuptu. Hope that helps. And I will see you um, another time. Bye. Now it's time for me. Pick. A little chiller, so yeah. Hello, group three. Um, oh my, I just realized group three is number three, the Empress. Psst. It's crazy. Um, it's alright. Um, but I really like this card. It's like, it's, this is an extremely positive card. Uh, right now, I'm really... Uh, also, like, I feel like in this group, Okay, that's why I'm saying that it's so cool that it has the same number because I really have the feeling like um, This was in the right place, you know, like you are in the right place at the right time. You're in the right place at the right time. 
um, um, yeah, like it's well planned. You're, you're on a well planned trajectory, right? That's what I get. And then I get some annoying cards for you. This is really like the Ten of Cups, upside down. Okay, and I get the High Priestess upside to down. And I get the Magician upside down. Um, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so keep that in, keep, keep that. Okay, also actually really easy message here. Um, you're in the right place. You're on the right path. You, and, and the whole point is right, actually right here, group three is, um, as far as manifesting goes, as far as like um, doing more work around that, don't do it right now. You're good. You're good. It's like you are so perfectly in place that um, putting extra orders in is only going to, that, that could only cause problems, right? So just enjoy being, um, just enjoy that you're really spot on and that you actually don't have to do anything more. I think the High Priest is just saying there are no, there's no secrets, there are no illusions here, there are no more um, back doors or, or lessons or tricks. There's nothing hiding um, here that you have to worry about. And the Ten of Cups reverse is kind of saying that, look, you're on the right place, right time. However, um, you know, nothing is set in stone and it's, you're kind of rediscovering, like, you know, like normally this is, is the, the, hap the happy family card or what you would consider um, like the, the, the ideal end family situation. Like if you um, imagined I, I wished I would be living with 10 people or 10, my best, 10 best friends in a house, you know, and, um, or I wish to have three kids and two dogs or I wish to be living in a farm, blah, blah, blah. So that, that end scenario where you're really happy and you've got all these cups in a row. Upside down right now, it, it means that you are redefining this, that you're discovering what, what this is. And you're also being kind of a bit invited to this. Like, like you, don't have to be, you don't have to be focused so much on, okay, I have to really like, um, let, let's say I have to really describe the perfect partner. I have to really write down, I have to make these lists. I have to like, take my pencil, burn the paper, um, um, like think about this more. Like, like, am I sure I want this kind of person? Am I sure I want this kind of person? Not really. You don't have to be manifesting anything. Um, it's more like take the time to, to really think what do I really want and the things that I thought I wanted, is that, does that still apply? Am I changing in that? I think maybe because you've um, gotten a taste of some things now and I think your tastes are changing. So the, the thing that would help you most in recognizing, I think, the good things coming on your path and also you having more fun and um, uh, enjoying just enjoying things more is if you um, think about what 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 the scenario looks like for you and and what you would like to try let's say like oh I'm not sure if I want this or this anymore then you can say like oh I'm, Maybe that's a scenario I would like to try, or that's something that that could, that would be nice. Try to more approach it this way. It's not a picture that you have to have yet. It's something that it's more like the cards are telling you, like you know, that end scenario that you have. Um, leave it open for now. Like um, um, try to try to be more flexible in that, or try to. Test that image a bit that you have. That's gonna help you. That's just gonna help you recognize things better, okay? So, nothing's going on, no secrets. You've done all the work. Uh, this magician can rest. Um, you really are just on the perfect place, perfect right time. You're looking good. You're on your throne. Um, yeah. Things are growing nicely around. It's like you, it's like you planted all the seeds in the garden, you've placed all the flowers, you did all the work. And now it's kind of like, let things be, let them grow, let them sit. Don't bother the plants so much because they just get moved. So the, the best thing you can do is kind of let things do their thing right now. And you've done everything right. Everything's going to blossom perfectly. And the only thing they're asking you is like that idea you had, like if, when all the seeds would grow and all the flowers would bloom, 
that idea you had of that garden and how you were going to enjoy that. Um, don't be like, maybe think bigger or um, expect more and feel, try to get playful with that, with the, with the end goal, sort of the image, the image. I think I made myself clear, that was enough, thank you. Really good, really good message. Um, really good, yeah. Uh, I'm just really focused on this infinity symbol above his head. Why? Um, why? I, I kind of knew it and then I blocked off. First I wanted to say is that... That just that, that good things are on... Uh, well, the music just skipped. So what does that mean? Um, wow, and now I'm blanking. I'm so sorry. The affinity symbol. Uh, okay, like the idea I just got with the music skipping, I think um, the infinity symbol is saying you're on a specific path. Also, where we started with, right? You're like in the right space. You're on a, you're, you are walking very carefully laid out plan. So when things are weird around you, when your world seems to be skipping, you know, like when things are just a bit off in alignment, that's fine. That is, that's more like timelines are adjusting a bit. It's like everything's skipping into place for you. So don't worry about that. Or if like uh, you have a meeting or you have a date and it's kind of awful, um, don't be tricking yourself like, oh, what did I do wrong? Am I manifesting the wrong thing? No, for you right now, it's more like things are just skipping into place. So that's why maybe some things are a bit off here and there. Um, don't make too big, big a deal of it. It's not a big deal. Okay. And the strawberries. Eh? I think the strawberry season is healthy for you. Um, you are getting ready for some love, for some romance. So... I think that's also a bit maybe what the cards are asking you is just like sit still um, don't force anything like it's like a beautiful love story is being created it's like in the in the works um, and it's like you just need to be you just need to wait to be called to set or um, to um, to meet this arrangement <laughs> good luck have fun have fun have fun Okay, thank you, group three. Bye. Um, let me know how that works out. <coughs> and in group four, we have these cards. And then, sub, 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 um, Group four. Hello. Welcome to your reading. Um, let's get right into it. How you manifest better. You chose the five of... Uh, swords upside down so I'm guessing you know a little bit of tarot and you know that, that this kind of implies or means the end of um, the end of feeling defeated the end of feeling like you lost or the end of feeling a bit heartbroken or a bit um, left out in the cold look because you get this card as well it's the second card the five pentacles that's also the everybody's favorite card and it's also upside down so that's um, I think you really, you really want to manifest the end of hardship. You want to manifest the end of conflict and the end of being left out in the cold. I'm going to leave it open at that. Could be money, could be friendship, could be love, could be um, health-wise. Okay. You. The point is, you are trying to manifest coming out of problems. Okay. That's always a tricky thing. Always a tricky thing. I'm going to do page of cups. Upside down. I don't know what that means. Any of the pentacles. Uh, money um, but I see this more of you are really trying to I think maybe for for a while now you've been struggling so it's like and that's normal right because of this hardship because of a lot of difficulty you are dreaming of the opposite a lot of comfort ease um, you are just dreaming of the opposite of being in this shitty situation let's because it could be anything but i think I'm, I'm saying this is because i think you're you are um 
you're unsure of the purity of what you're asking for because I think you kind of feel like you know that thing of because you're in you, you're having these problems you are dreaming of this but then you could philosophize then oh if I never would have had this problem I would never be asking for this so is this truly in my alignment is this truly what I want is this truly who I am because maybe this is not truly who I am and I'm asking for this because of this problem um, and, and I think you're just stuck because this has been going on a, a, a long time that you it's it's like you don't know how to ask for this anymore and you're afraid to because I think you know that you've asked enough so that part is kind of over um, and I think you're working very hard in trying to get any rid of any resistance or any disturbance on this line. I think you've been doing a really good job. I don't think you've been like just like doing the, the stupid mistake of focusing on the problem and hoping that the solution will come, right? We, we all know here that that doesn't work. Um, if, if this is something you struggle with in the core or a lot, listen to Abraham Hicks because that's, she helps you with that. Just listening to her reasoning, um, like the whole point of her like, uh, let's say financial problems that it's very hard to really um, you know like fake that good feeling about things and or, or, or focus on what on like finance finances that are going good and because of that you manifest more of this right sort of that's the, the basics of it and because because you're having all these problems like anything you think of financially you're automatically picking up all these problems like they say that's the stick um, you, you, um, you want to have the right end of this, uh, I don't know, something with a stick. You just, when you try to think of the good things, you're automatically feeling all this hurt and thinking of these bad things. So you kind of know like, oh, I'm not manifesting so well then. So that's why the, the first step is like, if you're having trouble doing that, so if you can't think of anything with, to do with finances and feel happy or, or away from these problems, this an example, eh? um, then don't think about it at all. Drop the stick focus on aspects in your life where you feel like getting something is really easy and you 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 feel the opposite of this lack or this defeat or that things are difficult just focus on aspects in your life where things are easy and then other aspects in your life also will be more easy right that's the general idea but it's difficult because let's say you're having difficulties for a long long time after a while it feels like it's ruling everything it's just seeping into other aspects of your life and kind of ruining it um, so first thing I can tell you is important part of this step is drop drop manifesting drop the end scenario and um, stand up for yourself say um, okay I know we want this and I know we're allowed to have this okay that's the first that was the first step that was the beginning um, if you have any doubts of this is okay to want this even though like maybe this is no forget it the whole point of 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 life is that because of certain experiences you create dreams okay because of your past because of the life you've been through you've created ambitions for the future okay so it's normal that this comes from this okay so if you dream of having of being very rich because all your life you had to struggle with that then that is perfect a-okay that's your dream that was the whole point okay so if you feel any blame or guilt around that just get rid of it because no you're very much allowed to and why wouldn't you why wouldn't you dream of that dream away however something that is important is I'm just going to use finance again because it's easier. It could also be relationship love or use that example. Let's say relationship, let's say love. You've only, you've only known defeat or bad relationships and it's it's been a lot of bad luck and a lot of disappointment. Um, to cope with that, oftentimes this this end scenario or, or, or our dreams, we, we start living in an idyllic world. Or... Um, I can see it more with money where let's say you've been poor so long you become you start dreaming of becoming like exuberantly rich like over the top rich you just almost out of anger almost out of like I want to be um, 
yeah it's more of an escape you know and then you're warping this end image and you're it's okay to want them to be very very rich but you have to be careful to still be open to receiving a little bit then right so you can still be dreaming and mindscaping about being the richest person in the world but you have to be careful that out of that you're not asking that you you're not saying that that's the only valid valid scenario that you're the richest person in the world okay it's kind of be like yeah yeah i'm dreaming i'm dreaming but anything i'm happy with you know like even if i'm a little bit rich or um if i'm the 10th richest person in the world all happy all fine just just be flexible in that right don't get narrow-minded or let's say you've you've lost love and you've I don't know you like you dream of a person or you dream of somebody like them and I don't mind through the years that that desire only gotten bigger however the chances of getting back with that person only get smaller um, it's okay to still dream of that it's okay to still want that okay however in the mean be sure that you to be flexible for any other kind of love coming your way you right um, Make sure you're not pinching yourself off of that because in the ultimate plan it could still be that in the end you end up with this person, that that's your ultimate happiness. But however, the, way, the road through to that, you need to go through maybe very important relationships to get to that stage. And there's a lot of love waiting for you in between. So it's very important that we, we can dream and hold on to dreams and hold on to desires but let it go again you know like dream away but look at what writes in right look at where you are and accept that accept where you are accept what is right in front of you and make sure that you're not only dreaming about the future but try to also this would be a good exercise for you is to uh start pulling the power back into more than now like say, say what do i want tonight what do i want tomorrow what do i want this weekend what would i want next month what would i'm hoping for next year and then try to do these exercises and then at night fall asleep dreaming of your ultimate happiness go crazy right there's a two important aspects and that's why this page of cups is here because i think you stopped um you're holding yourself back a bit because You've been in problems so long that dreaming about it almost becomes painful or you're afraid almost to ask for it because you're so far away from it, you're not seeing the result that you're kind of wondering, am I just hurting myself dreaming away about this, All right? Am I making myself miserable this way? No, you're not. You're making yourself miserable by blocking yourself, all right? Just go wild, keep dreaming, keep hoping, keep being crazy romantic and crazy believing however take your life in control right so like you can have to put that aside all right i'm gonna stop um living in my beautiful dream world for now and like take back control and manifesting tonight what do i want i want some nice food i want a nice um conversation i want a nice movie on tv start there again okay start making your life now as pleasant as you can and as uh, fun as you can okay because that's how you get <laughs> more of that right the, the your manifesting problem is in the now not in the future so any arguments you get stuck in dreaming about the future kind of right now say you know what i can let that go um let's try to make our lives easier in the now and and that may be difficult for you because you're asking yourself to focus back on problems that are happening right now but you have to retake control because I think you're kind of stuck in... You're frozen. Looking at the situation, you, you, you're just scared and frozen. And you're stuck in the dream. Which is becoming more painful because it's like you are... It's like you're holding on to it and you don't want to look at what's really happening. Um, but then the dreaming becomes unpleasant, right? So your goal is to... No, your mission is to first of all stop holding yourself back in dreaming of what you're asking for, go crazier, have fun in your head, you do whatever you want. But as far as manifesting goes, like the focus on that should be 
for now, like the next hour, the next week, the next month, the next year, the next five years, the next three weeks. Um, start living more in that. What will I like to see change? And try to find. If you feel that that because of that you like, let's say, oh, I want next week. I would like this and this, but suddenly that means that you have to really look at the huge this problem or that problem you're faced at. No, then. Don't make it hard on yourself. Don't torture yourself. Look at where you can manifest. Like say, oh, next week I'm working with a new colleague. I want that to be a very nice person. And I, and I want somebody who can entertain me a bit. Like, start where, where you can have some, some room and where you can ask for some things without getting overwhelmed. Um, yeah. Um, and, and you're gonna snap, you're gonna get out of this a lot faster than you think, but right now it feels bad because you're using the dream, man, the manifesting in the future as an excuse or as an escape to not deal with the fact that right now there are things happening and you're scared or you don't know how to deal with that. And that's usually where it starts. Find somebody to talk to, find, grab a journal, write down, oh dear, help. I don't know what to do when I'm scared. And or like, I don't see it growing the right way and I'm really lost and kind of scared. Admit that and start by fixing that. And because um, that's what you're being called to do right now. And that's a bit of a trick, but it's not as bad as you think, but because you're not looking at it, you're making it worse and worse and worse. I've just been through that. It's horrible. It's a pattern that you need to break. And that's why all the dreaming is becoming very difficult and you're torturing yourself. It's because you kind of know it's a distraction, so you are. So it doesn't feel right, and then you're kind of over focusing on why it doesn't feel right, what's wrong with the, with, with the manifestation. So you kind of are distracting yourself even more there. But it's not feeling right because you're. It's. You're, you're, the intention behind it is not good, it's right? Like, dreaming about your future life is a really good idea. Um, but if. The intention of that is to circumvent things that are happening right now and to, um, you know, to not see that, that you feel powerless or don't feel the control right now, then you are giving up your power and control. And, and the whole point is that you take the control because that's a huge part of your lesson, I feel like. You're learning to take the control, dealing with the problems alone, not waiting for to be saved, not waiting for somebody to come and help you, okay? And the good news is, it's this is one of those things, the sooner you face it and just look at the problem, things are gonna fucking freaking work out really sweet, sweetly, but, but it's more of the, you need to face it kind of head on. Uh, and it's, it's not gonna be bad at all, but somehow, because I don't know what you've been through or this is a difficult lesson for you because right before you go face it, it's very emotional and there are things behind that, there are regrets behind that or, or doors that, that you're having trouble looking at and it's very, very scary to open that door of, yeah, this is where I'm powerless and I've always been powerless and I, I'm a bit hopeless. That's a scary door to open, but the moment you open it, things feel better, I promise you. Um, and you kind of know that it's, uh, you kind of know that the fear is irrational and yet it's got you. Um, because it's a pattern that's been reinforced. And also now you're very good at scaring yourself. It, and like even now in these dream scenarios, you, you get so anxious because you feel powerless in the now. And that's what you need to fix. Yeah. That was it. Hope it helps. Sun is gone. Yeah. Keep strong. Keep faith. It's gonna work out. You're gonna do great. I believe in you. Bye.